We are not to read the book of Jonah as God being in a good mood, so the people of Nineveh are fortunate on that particular day, nor are we to read the book of Nahum as God waking up on the wrong side of the bed, and therefore the people of Nineveh pay dearly. Exodus 32 verses six and seven present a beautiful description of God who is both compassionate and one who judges sin. As you read through the Bible, you will find that you cannot put God into a box. At times, God will surprise you with his compassion. At other times, he will surprise you with his wrath. Although God never compromises his character, he cannot be calculated. Second, we can learn from the comparison of the moral of each prophecy. In Jonah chapter four, verses nine through 11, we learn that the compassion of the Lord goes deeper than any of us could ever imagine. He is so compassionate that we and our fallen selves might not like it. However, in Nahum chapter three, we may also cringe at the unleashing of God's judgment against Nineveh. He is so vengeful that we and our fallen selves might not like it either. God is holy or other than us. He is both comprehensible and incomprehensible, and God is no respecter of persons. It is very interesting that sin is not mentioned very much. The book of Nahum zeroes in on judgment. We can also note the comparison of the opportunity for the response of Nineveh to the person of God. In Jonah chapter three, verses five through 10, we find that an important feature of the book is their response. Nineveh apparently turns to the Lord and his anger is averted. In Nahum chapter one, verse 14, and in chapter three, verse 19, we learn that there is no opportunity for Nineveh to respond. Their judgment is fixed and certain. A final comparison of the two books is the focus of the book. The book of Jonah is not really focused on the Ninevites. It is really about him as a prophet. Whereas the book of Nahum is clearly focused on the Ninevites, from beginning to end, they are in God's view. 